Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to WJZ News at 5 and those streaming on CBSN Baltimore. Now, this happened this morning right on 295 South, and somehow the driver who was shot was still able to get the bus and its passengers off the road safely. Yeah, WJZ is live tonight at the State Police Barracks in Glen Burnie, where Sean Stryker has much more on this investigation. Hey, Sean. What's going on, guys? Yeah, it's, a crazy, it's a crazy story. It happened at 2:45 this morning. State police say the bus was traveling from the Miku Pavilion in Baltimore to the airport. That's when another motorist in a separate car pulled up and started firing all while they were traveling down that major highway. A brazen early morning shooting sends bullets flying through the side of this tour bus, hitting the driver as they travel down 295 South. The bus driver in the tour bus was shot. And continued on into the VWI terminals. According to Maryland State Police, the bus was taking support crew from a concert that had just wrapped up at the MeQ Pavilion in Baltimore to the airport when the shots were fired from a passing car. At this point, investigators are trying to figure out what the motive behind this shooting was, and we're also looking for any witnesses who may have. Seen this actually happen. To the driver managed to get the bus safely off the road, pulling into the departure lane at the BWI airport. That is when our troopers responded along with EMS personnel and able to get the uh, bus driver transported to the hospital immediately. I called the tour bus company. A representative declined to comment but said they are in the process of traveling to Baltimore. I work in the area. Matt Plowman travels on 295 nearly every day and knows things could have been much worse. The amount of carnage and damage that could have happened, a busload of people. And now the search is on for whoever is responsible. Now, police have not been able to confirm whether or not this was a targeted attack or if it was random. They say this is something they're looking to uncover during this ongoing investigation. Reporting live tonight in Gun Burning, I'm Sean Stryker for WJZ.